aware in recent years where anybody has had the kind of wonderful enthusiasm for what we do here to be able to say, I really want this to be important. You don't get, the, you don't see these kind of specials very much anymore. You don't see this kind of wonderfully rich storyline musical special. It's almost like theater. This is theater on television, isn't it? Television is an ensemble effort, and we we are as good sometimes as all of those people that that are that are part of our show in terms of the scenery, in terms of the lighting, in terms of the costuming, in terms of the music. My partner, Dwight Emian, this is right up his alley. Dwight is the most incredible director of this kind of musical imagery special. His favorite thing is to be able to take this kind of show that. Uh, it is like dance, music, visual images, and put them all together. We're, we're doing more like a movie, and then we have setups that we're doing. It's not an arena kind of a show, I show, where people just, you, you do routines and you do them full out. We're stopping and going, stopping and going. New setups, new camera locations, from all the stuff that we're doing. I didn't even mention before, but uh, the original music is written by Randy Goodman. And Randy is a wonderful, warm writer. I'm so pleased with the music that he's written. I think it's so much right on.
with sort of that really old ice capades, bravura kind of smile and, and pizzazz. Well, the moral of Snowden on Ice is that if you have courage, magic things will happen. And in the sequence Fly, where Snowden magically comes to life, we devise a way through animation to let her skate with somebody, and then as long as the Snowden was animated and could throw her, then she could spin him and she could throw him, and he could do all kinds of crazy things that a normal skater wouldn't be able to do. And it just adds to the magic of the segment. The animated Snowden is the, the Snowden that's in the child's imagination. The Snowden and the child can do anything together if they just believe they can do it. They did a mold of my face, which was outrageous. It was kind of a weird feeling. Good morning. And then to look at your face in plaster in front of you, you know, with this rubber makeup on it, all his hair and everything. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'll be able to just step completely away from me and try to be somebody else. Well, you know, it's great about every special, but this one especially is the fact that, you know, closest friends are all participating in this. I mean, you, you watch her and, and you understand immediately why she's a two-time Olympic gold medal winner. And the skating, her, the quality of her skating is so magnificent, so beautiful. And uh, you see her soul come shining through her skating. It's beautiful. Scott is, uh, Scott is a wonderful person. And he's kind of our, I don't know, father, older brother, friend. He's a, just a person who you just want to be around all the time, and he he make you feel so comfortable, you know, calm and uh, confident in yourself. Like I would never think that I can, you know, go and skate now by myself, alone, solo on the ice. And uh, Scott was one of the person who told me that that I can I I can skate. So long without Sergey, it looks beautiful. Like he kind of uh, put in me confidence. I think this is very, very interesting story, and it's also very simple and uh, similar to life. Like what happened with the, with the real people, because they some people who believe in magic, it helps sometimes. <laughs> you know, it helps sometimes to go through the difficulties in life. Well, Dash is my, she's my pal. She's my buddy. We've, uh, okay. I've known her since, oh, I think I, did, I met her when she was a baby for the first time. We've grown to be friends over the years, and, and uh, we have a good time together. And uh, so this is all kind of, wow, mommy's at work, and what am I doing here? <laughs> am I working too? I get to wear makeup, and I get to get you know, my hair done, and pick out clothes, and everything she picks is pink. That's her favorite color. Um, so it's it's fine. I'm I'm glad that Scooch and Dash get kind of a little time together on the ice. When I read the script, I kind of got a lump in my throat, you know, because it's such a it's such a a, a neat little moment. Uh, Jose is gorgeous. So for her to be Shana, it's kind of like great casting. It's great casting because uh, you know the way that she and Katya differ are ways that Kate and Shayna differ in their characters. Uh, Jose is very athletic. Katya is athletic, but, but the focus of her skating is the beauty and the flow and the carriage and the artistry. 
that's what separates her from all of the women figure skaters. And with Jose, she, she jumps over small family dwellings, and she, uh, she's got great athleticism, and that's kind of the direction she's gone in her skating. She's a beautiful skater as well, but her focus and her strength is power, jumping, athleticism. I never thought I could do a career after with this sport. I thought, you know, I'm going to the Olympics and that was it. I was probably going to teach it and that was it. It's just great that I can even, like, keep doing whatever I love the most. This is so enchanting. Like, it's, it's much easier with this set. It's amazing, like, how it's easy to get into the character when it's all decorated and it, it's like you live it. <laughs> Kurt Browning is one of my best friends, and, and uh, Kurt is somebody who I admire and like enough to almost despise him. <laughs> he is so brilliant, and he's so talented and gifted, and he's got all the tools. Uh, when he first turned professional, I said, you're looking at an uncut diamond. He's brilliant. He's great. He's got great feet, huge jumps, uh, athletic ability, presence on the ice, you know, a real solid way of communicating with an audience, Kurt's, Kurt's a superstar, and he's only going to get better. Yes, I played hockey as a, as a kid. I played hockey until I was about 15 or 16. Um, and what made me decide between hockey and figure skating was just I was quite successful in having so much fun figure skating, and I'd sort of stopped growing already. So my decision was easy. Become a hockey player, don't be successful yeah. and get killed, or go for figure skating, you know? So it wasn't the top choice. I think that my background um, from the country, there's a lot of rodeo in my family, um, playing hockey as a kid, it sort of gives me a, a style that's, you know, I think that I could do classical skating, I could do comedy, um, I can play the hockey coach in a TV special if I wanted. It gives me a little bit more variety. I, I love working on TV. It's, um, it's nice to be treated like a star and I have your own chair and, oh, Okay, well, we're working on that, but um, still, it, I got grapes in my trailer. I gotta go. To have those three skaters in the show as, as your centerpiece skaters and to have Dosh making her theatrical debut, uh, it, it's, it's pretty exciting.